Hello, this is Vince with Tips to Thrive. And today, I want to share with you an idea that could probably change the way you look at things. And I think uh, this idea is even more relevant now that we are in a, a great challenge in the form of a, a, a pandemic, right? So, one of the key things that will help us get through challenges is having absolute faith. What do I mean by that? Having absolute faith in the fundamentals, going back to the basics, the, 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 the basis of life, understanding that life has basic rules that when we follow them, we are guaranteed to win. Not every time, but we, we, we are more likely to win than we are likely to lose. So what, what, what is this absolute faith? Absolute faith is understanding that no matter whatever situation you find yourself in, you can always find a way to win. And in that, we find the law of averages. This is when you have absolute faith that you're doing something that you will get a ratio of result because you actually do, right? Out of every thousand, out of every hundred that there's bound to be at least so many, maybe two out of 10, three out of 10, but that's your ratio, your beginning ratio. That doesn't mean it, couldn't, it, it can increase. But why do you need this ratio? You need this ratio because things don't just work out the first time. It doesn't just work out for you. And if it's something that is worthwhile, it's probably going to take a longer time than you might have thought. But here's the key. When you have absolute faith, that's why it's important to have faith. Because faith means that you believe even when you can't see you believe even when you know there is no evidence or, or, or factual analysis to prove you believe because you can see it in your imagination this is when you believe and, and that drives you to work that vision drives you to go uh, uh, make something happen it's not gonna happen right away but it will happen eventually but people don't like that idea of eventually that's because they don't have absolute faith because that eventually, if you look at other successful people, that's all they had. That's all they had. Thomas Edison tried for, uh, 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 tried 10,000 times in order to invent the electric bulb, right? Other people were, were, were comfortable with, with the way they were living, but he saw an opportunity to create a revolution. Right, and the key for you to come through a challenge, the key for you to thrive uh, 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 when there is crisis, is for you to develop something that you really want to bring about in your life. I'm sure you have that. Maybe you don't believe in yourself, or maybe your parents don't believe in you, or maybe your friends don't believe in you. That's okay. Actually, that's a good thing because you need that doubt to form you to work even more harder to make it to come through because it's hard work I'm not gonna kid you I'm not here to kid you I'm here to tell you that it will work out eventually right but you have to keep at it and for you to understand the law of averages that's when you feel uh, 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 the need to go to work because what you know that it's going to happen you know it having that kind of feeling is a, 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 a superpower in itself. Because remember the story in the Bible of the, of the sower, right? I, I, I don't read the Bible that much, but the story of the sower uh, 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 entails of this uh, uh, um, man trying to sow seeds and some fall on thorny ground, some fall uh, on the ground and the, and the birds eat them. Some, some, some were, were carried away by the wind. But eventually, some fell on good ground and bare fruits. Now, that's a story that you can embrace. That's a story that you can bask in. That's a story that you can use to form your belief in yourself. That even though every evidence around you is telling you something different, you have that vision in your head, that vision in your mind telling you to go through with what you're doing. I'm here to tell you today that that vision is right. I'm here to tell you today that you should go through with it. Because if you don't, 
you will have to live with the regret for the rest of your life. Is it going to take discipline? Yes. Is it going to take hard work? Yes. But what else is new about life? What else? What else is new? We know that life is full of challenges. But does that mean that we're not going to win? We were born to win. We were meant to win. Now it's up to us to walk towards it to win. And this is it. Absolute faith. Understanding the law of averages. That you just put the numbers together. If you're in sales, if you're making 10 calls, make 20 calls. That increases what? Your average. The more you do, the more chances you have. And that's it, my friends. And that's the game of life that you got to play for you to win. And I know you want to win. Of course you want to win. But it's going to take hard work and persistence, which I am sure you have, but you haven't tapped into. But let this be a wake-up call for you. Let this be something that will tell you, hey, okay, I've been dozing off for a long while now. It's time to get up and go to work. Because your dreams can come through. Thank you and stay inspired. And if you find this message valuable, subscribe, follow, come back for more, share with someone who needs this.